Hey, um, hey, I just had my first coffee in 15 days after my ride, and I'm, I'm feeling a bit wired, so I might keep riding. Are you okay to drop the kids at school for me? Yeah, just don't ride to the club. So I've just exited my house. This is my first ride in over 15 days because I've been on this massive juice fast and reintroduction to food program. I've done a few light indoor trainer sessions, but this morning, my first ride out on the road, no more enema videos, no more me talking about I'm gonna stick my dick in a blender to get to a coffee. None of that, I promise. I'm back on the bike and this morning, I'm super, excited because I'm gonna have my first coffee and I love that coffee shit I love it so much I'm gonna have my first coffee that sweet black nectar in over 15 days meters until I'm gonna drink my first coffee. It's a martyr. It's very exciting. We don't seem that excited, do we? <laughs> We're just talking about enemas here. And I promise I wouldn't do an enema video again, but no that it's actually not too bad. You just once you've done it once, you sort of just get used to the experience. It's all about cleansing both ends, so you wouldn't do it? You need, you need experience now past <laughs> I know whose bike that is. Someone's in here. That's, that's what I'm getting next. This was stolen, wasn't it? This one was stolen. It's stolen by a hobo in the city? Stolen by a hobo, he scratched it nicely and was getting out of the shed. Where? <laughs> Is that the only thing he stole? He stole... The only thing that was stolen was the bike. <laughs> and he put a bike lock on it. And he put a bike lock on it. Where did he put the bike lock on it? He had a bike there, he didn't want someone stealing his stolen bike. <laughs> Who found it? Boys in Blue. Boys in Blue. Did a great job. 24 hours later. Yep. Pretty amazing. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Tr strategic. A lesson the hard way. Anyway, I feel completely jittery after that coffee, and I've got a massive turtle head. So I need to <laughs> race. I need to race home and go to the toilet. So I'm about five minutes post leaving the cafe, and I'm super jittery. I feel high. I really do. Probably should have eaten something before I had that coffee. I normally, I have a strong arm and latte. Just had a single shot, and I actually feel. I think I'm gonna have to keep riding. Like, I'm just absolutely high. I'll be too jittery if I go home. My need to go to the toilet has subsided though, which is good because I was close to shitting myself, I think, just as I was exiting the cafe there, but yeah, I'm gonna have to keep riding. Hey, babe. Hey, um, hey, I just had my first coffee in 15 days after my ride, and I'm, I'm feeling a bit wired, so I might keep riding. You okay to drop the kids at school for me? Yeah, just don't ride to the club, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I might ride straight to a revolver as well, but uh, thanks for that, appreciate it. I'll be, I'll be home in 45, bye. So I've just had to pull over at 7-Eleven, because I am absolutely flying and a little bit edgy and I'm just to curtail this, this immense high that I'm currently having. 
gonna down this banana. So, I actually feel right now, like my watts have increased by about 10, 20%. Like I could snap the crank. I'm really feeling it right now. One shot of coffee, I normally have two shots and it doesn't even scrape the sides. One shot of coffee after 15 days and I'm about four or five days ago when I was doing this juice fast, I was denied a banana and it wasn't a very nice feeling because I, all I was looking to do was get out and go for a ride and I just needed a little bit of energy, the soups and the, the, the porridge, just wasn't doing it. Just being able to eat a banana now and enjoy life, it's pretty bloody good. All right, so that banana definitely hit the spot. I've just, I've started to come down a little bit, but I'm still pretty wide, so I'm heading back down out on the beach. Another lap, Morty and back, and I reckon should be good after that. I probably should have mentioned before with the banana, I was denied a banana by my naturopath, Tim Altman, during the fasting and reintroduction of food program because you're not allowed to eat sugary food. In fact, you're not allowed any stimulants, caffeine, salt, peppers, because you're re-educating your digestive system. And I'm still very sensitive, clearly, because this coffee has made me like, whew, absolutely fly. And then I had the banana to curtail the coffee, but the sugar of the banana has sort of lifted me to a different new level. Like, not only am I physically flying, but mentally, I've just pulled over here in Mentone. It's this absolutely cracking Melbourne morning here, and I'm just enjoying everything. So that's it, I just got home. I've got about 70 Ks on the clock. Which is pretty massive when I consider, I've done a couple of light indoor trainer sessions since I've started this fasting program over the last few days. And I've just had absolutely no energy of just being completely drained. And I've just banged out 70 Ks. I reckon I could go another 70, but I'm conscious that I lost about two kilos of muscle during the, the detox process and I think I'm just overstimulated by caffeine and banana sugar at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll catch you in the next video.